Hey guys, so I just wanted to check out the Android O uh, preview for the Pixel phone. This uh, is available as a flashable uh, developer preview. I will leave a link in the description if you want to get it on. And it, there's quite a few changes actually with this one. So it's not like your typical boring Android update nowadays. Uh, so we can have a look here at the uh, main changes. Straight away you can see uh, we're getting black now for the navigation uh, buttons when you go into the app drawer, which uh, is a nice little touch. Uh, I think this wallpaper is also a little bit different as well. Uh, it wasn't there before. Uh, in the actual uh, settings, you will see as well been massive changes in terms of the black and white theme. Everything is better organized now as well, like everything goes into the support area. Uh, like before they had two different tabs obviously which was a bit weird uh, but the support is going into the same area as the rest now uh, if we just have a look at the Android version you can see this is the actual uh, new icon now which looks pretty groovy uh, we're getting the patch of level of March the 5th uh, which is nice and it does actually go somewhere as well when you click on it so let's just uh, let's see what uh, it does go to so I haven't actually connected to Wi-Fi let's just connect Wi-Fi that would help wouldn't it I think when you do install this it takes it, it goes all the way it factory resets the phone literally uh, and you can see the actual Wi-Fi area has changed a little bit here uh, like you can see we've got like what you're connected to at the top here uh, so there's some nice uh, aesthetic changes uh, all around the user interface uh, so if we just uh, go back to what I was trying to do uh, I think uh, you can see it gives you a security bulletin straight away here when uh, you know you want to have a look at uh, the patch level which is good and uh, let's just see as well we so we do have some changes in terms of the uh, notification shade area uh, if we just go into the more settings uh, you can see you can uh, do different things here uh, I think according to the change list you can actually change the colors of notifications now uh, somewhere so uh, the note, the status bar as well is uh, a little bit more uh, dense in terms of the information that's being provided now. So uh, little changes like this certainly do add up to being quite nice, uh, improving the overall kind of uh, experience. Uh, you can also uh, do some custom shortcuts on the lock screen uh, and like, uh, you know, ch change uh, where the shortcuts go to. So just have a look in the display here and uh, down here we can see quite similar here in terms of the settings, not that different. Uh, let's have a look at the lock screen. Can we see this? Uh, because I think uh, there are some differences here. Uh, so you get all your same things. Uh, security patch level is up there as well now for some reason battery uh, so they definitely changed the UI here so much it's unbelievable I mean you're going to have to take some time to get used to where everything is now uh, so you can see we get uh, screen usage here still but it's down here at the bottom uh, you get uh, you know you can, I think you can go into it a little bit more for a breakdown of what's happening uh, which is good uh, so lots of nice changes here uh, on this particular software just have a look at the uh, wallpapers and see if we can see any differences here a little bit the same but I think it tells you what uh, wallpaper you've got there uh, which is nice and what else do we have uh, you can also add a custom uh, like ringtone which I don't think you could do before so let's just have a look here uh, let's go to the ringtone and uh, down here 
Yeah, so you can see if you go into your settings, you can actually assign one, which that uh, is a pretty nice thing if you like customization. Uh, you can also go and uh, go to the multitasking area, uh, the multi window apps. Uh, so this has been improved now a little bit more. So let's just try this. Uh, so if we just go to two things here and uh, if we just try and move this a little bit uh, according to the change log uh, the multi window has improved uh, by by users being able to maintain a view of the app they've minimized when they had to launch as well as expand or maximize it so i don't actually know what that means but maybe you do <laughs> uh, it doesn't really look that much different to me uh, it looks uh, quite similar actually uh, but you can see it works as intended which is good oh uh, i think this may be actually you can see we're looking at the home screen and we're also looking at the multi uh, window here which is pretty nice uh, definitely uh, something pretty cool there but this looks like a glitch you can see the <laughs> home screen is like overlaid itself onto the dialer uh, so it's probably not going to be uh, is this actually supposed to happen that uh, is a good question you know I don't know if that's supposed to happen uh, but it is uh, pretty interesting nevertheless uh, so how do I come out of it because it, <laughs> it's creeping me out a little bit here uh, maybe I've actually bugged Android the system here maybe I've hacked it uh, so let's just there we go so we're back to normal now I think uh, so it's not going to be a hundred percent stable you know there are going to be issues with the uh, you know uh, the software a little bit but if you want to check it out you know it's very easy as I said uh, to flash on uh, let's just have a look at the uh, camera here uh, so we are getting basically a uh, very nice camera experience overall on the pixel but the software does lead to you know it does leave a little, a little bit to be desired in terms of what the others are offering uh, so you still get your lens blur uh, which is nice and uh, do we get uh, any new stuff doesn't look like it really so quite the same here uh, overall not a massive difference uh, so I'm guessing it still takes a shot very quickly as you can see which is good uh, so yeah you know very nice update here a little bit buggy from uh, Google uh, we'll probably do a comparison with uh, latest uh, iOS as well see you know how it does compare here uh, and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one cheers